Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to upload your server for Mario Kart Wii or for any other DWC related project onto an AWS server so that anyone can access it outside of your network. I'm going to create an account. I've already created mine, but you can create yours in AWS. I'm going to sign into my account. Bearing in mind it's free, but it does require a payment method. Click on EC2, Instances, I'm going to launch a new instance. I won't be going through with this because I've already got used my one free trial. So we need a specific version, 16.04. We need Ubuntu 16.04 HVM and it needs to be the free tier eligible select. It will automatically populate the free tier ones here, so we just need to collect, can go to the next one. This is fine. Remember, this DW server runs on basically a potato, so it doesn't matter how low specs they are. Keep pressing next. Now, security group, this is incredibly important. You need to add two rules, one for TCP and one for UDP. So if we go on to the wiki of the GitHub that we're using to get set up this server, uh, if we go to the troubleshooting page, you'll find the ports we need to open. Now, I've had a bit of trouble when I've been copper se separating these values, so I'm just gonna open all the ports mentioned in the range. Make sure the source is the 0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 Just give it a nice description so you know what it is. And then add the rule for the UDP. Now do the same. So the ports 2 through to 65535. If any of these aren't opened, you'll have errors. I forgot to open my UDP ports and got error codes when trying to log in from my, uh, from my Wii. Now you can click re review and launch. This should just launch it. However, uh, I don't want to be doing that because I've already got mine set up already. So I'm going to go into mine. We just got EC2. Instances, there it is. And there's all the setup for it. Now, if this is kept running, the IP address will stay the same. However, it's whenever it reboots, the public IP address will change. So what we need to do is set a static IP, and they call this an elastic IP. So we need to set up elastic IPs. We need to create a new one. So actions allocate elastic IP address. This will give you a random one, and it's very simple to do. And then you've got to associate it to an instance. You should only have one, because it's only one free one. Click that, and you click that, and then associate. You may need to reboot your instance from the from the instances screen, but it will then have a a, a private IP, a, a static IP even. Now, how to connect to it? I'm using Juice SSH on my tablet. I find this the very easiest way to connect to it. So, one thing you will have found is that it asks you to create a set of private keys. Download this it's a .pem file. You need this and put this onto where you're going to be SSHing into it. So there it is, I've called my DWC. You need to check your username to Ubuntu. This is the default uh, username. Then you connect to it. And there you go, you've SSHed into it. Then you can simply follow the instructions that are in the link below. These are very simple and I've showcased them in a previous episode on how to do it on a virtual machine. And there you go, your server's set up. Thank you very much for watching.